So I've done some videos on headphones in the past. These are my daily drivers, the Audio-Technica M50Xs at $150. I'm quite happy with them. But what if you want to save some money? What if you want to spend, I don't know, 20 bucks? What options do you have that don't suck? Well, I'll tell you. All right, so the headphones we're talking about today are these guys, the Tascam TH02s. I found them for $17 on Amazon, though now they're $20, so I guess prices are gonna fluctuate. So let's just call them $20 pair of headphones. So the question is, what do you get for 20 bucks? Well, you get it all plastic design. I don't think there is a speck of metal on these headphones besides what is in the wire. Um, they're all made out of plastic, but at the same time, these headphones don't really creak. So the plastic is relatively, it's pretty good. What might not be too good though is the padding on top of these headphones. So there isn't a ton of play. So for some people you might find it a bit uncomfortable on top of your head. I personally have not experienced that, but what I am concerned of is the fabric quality. The feel of this like material doesn't feel like it's gonna last. It feels like it's gonna rip and just start fraying and falling apart. I mean, don't get me wrong, that has not happened yet. I've seen not really any signs of it, just it feels like it. So take that for what you want. Moving on though to the ear cups. So there is some play uh, with these ear cups. There is some nice padding. It's a bit more firm than I would like even after a month of using them but it definitely is not the worst. And something else to mention is the portability aspect of these headphones. Like, over-the-ear headphones are kinda bulky, but luckily these do actually fold up quite well. Uh, there is not a carrying case that it comes with, but you know, if you wanted to fold them up, throw them in your bag, you easily can. Now, being $20 headphones, I don't think you expected them to be wireless because they are not, and you've seen the cord dangling this entire video so far. Um, this cord is about three meters in length, so roughly nine feet, and you know, the quality of this cord seems like it's gonna last. I don't have any complaints, except I wish the cord was removable. That's what I have in the M50Xs. This is not removable, so once your cord breaks, you might be SOL and you might have to buy a new pair. So despite all the physical characteristics that I've mentioned with these headphones, how do they actually feel on my head? And keep in mind, this is a subjective opinion here. I'm personally, I think I'm kind of picky when it comes to the comfort level. And for me, I just put these on and I already feel they're kind of digging into the side of my head. But I've discovered that's because I'm wearing glasses. When I take off my glasses and I'm using these headphones, they feel, right now, feel so much better than what it did 30 seconds ago. So if you're wearing glasses and you want these headphones, you might wanna think twice. I mean, it depends on what glasses you wear, but the padding on the, these ear cups just doesn't have enough play to counter eyeglasses. So saying you're not wearing glasses, you know, how long can I wear these headphones before I feel like I'm uncomfortable? For me, I've kind of noticed it's roughly about an hour until I decide, all right, I need to take them off. Anywho, throwing away the subjective aspect of the comfort level, let's talk about the sound quality because it's interesting. So obviously you have to realize these are only $20, so they're not gonna necessarily compete with, say, my $150 Audio Technicas. But with that said, the dynamic range, the lows, the mids, the bass, is surprisingly there. The bass isn't super overpowering, they're not gonna be shaking your eardrums, but you can still hear the bass nonetheless and you know it's there, so obviously that's good. The mids do seem to be a bit muffled compared to what I would like, maybe a bit muddy. Um, it's not too bad, but it's definitely slightly present. Um, but again, for $20, I don't know if you really can complain, because. I've tried out $20 headphones before and I could never even consider editing any sort of video or audio with other pair of headphones. These, I could. But at the end of the day, you have to realize you really do pay for what you get. You know, if you want a professional sounding headphone, 
then you got to spend the money. If you are looking for something cheap and you're looking for something that can get you started, then get these, the Tascam TH-02s. The link will be in the description. But guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about these headphones, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to answer all of them that I can. But guys, I'm Eric and I'll catch you in the next video.